Hello, and welcome to QLab. You may have noticed in today's video, I've got a microphone. So I finally got one and hopefully the sound is a little bit better. So what are we doing today? Well, it's a bit of a different project. I wanted to explore how gases are used in food. So you might think of yeast in bread and the carbon dioxide leading to the expansion. And so those nice little fluffy bubbles in the bread, which make it really yummy, or bubbles in a Coca-Cola or a fizzy drink. That's also gas that's stored up and it gives that fizzy flavor. And I've got a little bit of a project that can be quite fun for us to do. If you want to follow along, we'll be making a sweetie. All the things will be in the description. One other important thing is that we'll be handling hot molten sugar today. So it's very, very important that you're careful with it because molten sugar, it's really hot, much hotter than boiling water, but it's also sticky. So if any gets on you, it sticks to you and it burns. It's really very nasty. So make sure when you're working with it, you have a good deep pan so that you can control it, heat things slowly, and maybe have a little bowl of cold water next to you that if any does spat, you can instantly clean it up. So what I've got here is 200 grams of sugar. Now I was gonna use 200 grams of caster sugar, but I didn't have enough. So it's about 100 grams of caster sugar and 100 grams of icing sugar. And then 10 tablespoons of syrup. And that's what's sitting on the top. And I'm just gonna warm this very gently. It's much better to do this slowly if you can. So I know I've sped mine up a bit here, but I warmed it over about 10 minutes, just slowly waiting for it to melt and mix together well. And you want to keep mixing it until you can't feel any more granules. And it'll go a lovely sort of goldeny brown color. But the key is to mix it until you can't see any of the sugar granules left or feel them. I found it easier to feel them with the spoon itself. So we'll just keep mixing it, carefully controlling the heat. Try to avoid it bubbling before you fully dissolved up the sugar. It's always best to get the sugar dissolved up and then let it bubble a little. And you can see mine's bubbling a bit, but there we go. So you can see now there's a lovely sort of syrupy texture to this. I'm just heating it up and keeping it at a good temperature. And don't forget you want to have a buttered tray that you can pour this into in a little bit. Though I have to say, you'll see a little bit later on, I think greaseproof paper would be better. Because it doesn't come out of the tray very well with the butter. So now I'm adding in two teaspoons of sodium bicarb. So that's baking soda. Now mix it in, you want to mix it in really thoroughly. I could have mixed it in actually a little bit better, but you'll see it starts to foam as the carbon dioxide's released. So you want to mix that really well. And once it's thoroughly mixed up, we'll pour it into a tin. You can see it going well there, and then you'll start to see it all expanding. I speed that up a little bit, but you'll be able to see it as it expands. Oh, spilt some. Oh, I meant to say the best way as well of cleaning up that pan is just to put some water in it because sugar's soluble in water. So it'll dissolve up. It might take a little while, but it's much easier than trying to scrub it. So literally just leave it with some water sat in it and it'll dissolve up the sugar for you. 
And here we go. Now, this is what happened when I buttered the tray. It didn't come out well at all. It's still a bit warm, actually. So that's why it's a bit sticky. So I'll pop it back in the fridge after I've got it out. I'll pop it back in the fridge on the board because it'll need to harden up a little bit more. Here we can see the final product. Nice and crunchy. But you can see that there are some bubbles in there, and that's from the carbon dioxide and that baking soda. So this is another form of carbon dioxide being used to create a texture in food. Well, there we've got it. The sweet that we made, that really nice sugary treat. I have tried a little bit, and I have to say, mine's a bit more sticky than it is crunchy means I probably should have heated it for a little bit longer but you know cooking is for experimenting too so I can try that out I hope you've enjoyed this video if you did like it why not subscribe to our channel and have a look at some of the other videos that we've been putting out the audio isn't as good on those so hopefully new ones will be better because of this microphone thanks so much for watching and see you next time